Some of who say his tensions resulting from killings of the three Nchindo brothers and their cousin by the Botswana Defense Force is not only felt by ordinary residents but the regional leadership as well. He noted that residents living along the riverine border of Chobe, Ninyanti and Kwando still feel insecure because they are still being harassed by the BDF. It cattle herders or ordinary people going to the river. As we know that uh, our livelihood depends on the river, like fish, grass for our households, reeds for our households, and even ladies. There are a lot of uh, types of food that people get in water or near water. The Zambezi governor says the signing of the new boundary treaty between Botswana and Namibia in 2018 in Ventuk has also caused tension in the region. The boundary treaty at the signing was reported to be a success and was aimed at facilitating free movement of people and transform their common border into a pool of development. However, some people said this had resulted in many islands along the riverine border annexed to Botswana at the expense of Namibians who cultivated there and used the islands as grazing posts for their livestock for centuries. There are always floods coming in. That's why some people have to move to higher grounds. But they have been living in those islands for many, many years. And they have been plowing, plowing there. Even when they moved to higher grounds, they used to plow there. Today, when they are found there by the BJ, they will just harass them. So that's the tension that I'm talking about in the region. Sampofu has reiterated his appeal to government to relook at the 2018 Botswana Namibia border treaty. We really appeal to our government to have a look at this border treaty because most of the islands which were known to be Namibian islands, they were cut off from Namibia and now they belong to Botswana. The governor, however, commended the government for deploying members of the Namibian Defense Force in some parts of the region. He wants them to be visible along the border for people to feel secure and protected.